Well, the change in the weather is getting people ready for the winter holidays, some putting up lights and trees to get in the spirit. But one tradition that will be missing, ice skating at Rosa Parks Circle. Construction for the $2.8 million project is delayed. And despite efforts by the city of Grand Rapids, there are no alternatives for winter skating so far. News 8's Heather Walker joins us now from the newsroom with more on the holdup. Heather? Yeah, the holdup, like everything else right now, is that the supply chain for materials is backed up. The granite kind of sits just on top of that. Where the ice would sit is now a puddle of water, and it's going to stay that way for a while. For six months, Rosa Parks Circle has been closed down for an upgrade. The space is normally busy all year round with events and activities, but winter ice skating is the undisputed crown jewel. Totally the popular event. It's part of the culture here in West Michigan and uh, a loved uh, activity in downtown Grand Rapids in the middle of winter. The director of Grand Rapids Parks and Rec says the plan was to have the renovations ready in time for winter, but supply chain backups have caused ice skating to be put on pause. The problem, the artist and architect of the space, Maya Lin, requested a specific granite, and that only comes from one supplier in California. And just like everybody, uh, these people are having trouble finding workers to extract that granite and then workers to truck that granite. The good news is that the granite is on the way. The city says it will be arriving in small shipments over the next few weeks. Um, we should begin to start seeing those trucks rolling in soon uh, and that granite getting installed. Which means skating could return in February. The bad news is that in the meantime, alternatives like a portable outdoor ice rink or synthetic ice, much like the granite, won't make it in time for Christmas. The city is now looking for other ideas. So we're exploring all the options. We'll be super excited to share what those are once we identify what they may be. No need to worry. There are plenty of other winter activities put on by the city, like sledding, cross-country skiing, and World of Winter, which kicks off in January. Reporting in the newsroom, Heather Walker, News 8.